hello 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 and welcome back to my channel today what i'm going to show you is how you can export data to excel and php so for that i'll be displaying a list and giving you an option for data export from where you can download your excel file and after that you can view that excel file so let me quickly tell you how I'm going to start this video. So first of all, I'll be creating a database. After that, I'll be making a connection with the database in my file. And after that, I'm going to fetch that data into a table. And then I'm giving the data export option from where you can download your Excel file. So let's get started. So first step is create a database. So I have already created a database with name ERP test and in which I have created a table that is user and in table I have inserted some rows with like username and email. Now second step is to make a connection with the database. So for that I'll be writing the code PHP code. So let me first create a new file. So that will be like database.php and let me define a variable that is cone and for MySQL connection we need MySQL like connect and it will need basically four parameters. First one is the name of your server that is localhost and after that the uh, username and password for the like for authentication so for that we have root and password blank after that you fourth that is the your DB name so my DB name is ERP test so that's what I'm going to write and after that I'm going to check the connection that connection is made or not so for that writing if condition with my SQL I connect error number and I'm going to like echo the error. So for that, I'm writing fail to connect to database and MySQL I connect error that will display if any error is there. And I'm going to include the, this database file into my index.php file. Let's check it in browser if any error is there in connection or not. So after refreshing, you can see there is no error. So our connection is made to database. So next, we will be moving to third point that is we are going to display our data into table. So for that, I'm going to write HTML code. So for that, giving title that is PHP export. And then I'm going to define a div and i'm just you know writing the link for bootstrap and i'm going to give class container then i'm giving an another div that is row and another div inside that that is called md12 and then i'm going to define my table And before that, let me write h2 that is user data. And I'm going to give a table class table, table bordered, and then table header. So t head, then tr, and th. This is the basic, you know, table structure. And I'm going to write serial number, user, and email. And in table body, I'm going to call my like fetch my data. So I'll be writing user query select star from my table that is user. And I'm going to you know get the results of the query. And I'm going to loop. I'm going to fetch all the five data, five or six. So loop it and tr t, 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 define a variable for serial number and echo that after that fetch the you know to 
column basically that is username and email so let's see in browser so there you can see our on data has fetched now that is six data we have so what next we want is to give an option for data export so for that i'll be using an anchor tag so firstly i'm defining like a div that i'm going to give text center and after that i'm defining anchor tag class for button that is primary then I want to open that in new so target blank then give data export and the uh, like the page I want to load that is user data download.php so that's the file new I'm going to create So I'll be creating a new file and I'm going to save that with the name of that I have given in anchor tag href. So that's saved now. Let's see. So let's check in browser. There you can see now the option of data export. Now if you will click it, it will be blank. So let me write the code for that so the last step is to like make the file that we need to download so for that firstly we need to include the database not php file as we need to fetch the data in this and the main thing that we need to do is header so for that we need content type that is like application and that we need to tell actually the browser that content type is an attachment or a download option so for that we need application slash vnd ms excel and after that we are going to define file name that is user data dot excel excel less Now the second header we need is content disposition. Tell that the browser that it's basically as is a attachment. And with this we need to send the file name as we have defined that. So we will be sending the file name in our PHP one. And I'm just going to take my table from the index page and copy it in the downloadable file. And let's see how it will work. So click on data export and you can see that file is downloaded, but it's not in the Excel format. So I guess I missed something. Okay. I I need to convert that to double inverted comma right now it's written in single inverter so for that I'm changing it to double inverter now we will see now refresh the browser and click on data export button now you can see it's downloaded in export uh, sorry excel file so that's the excel file that is downloaded now there is no border so let's add border to the file so right now right style border 2 pixel solid black and add this to all the th all the td and now again refresh and download this and let me open the file now you can see it's having borders now so that's how you can download 
data like export your data to excel and php so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching